We're here with uh, Texas A&M's uh, newest basketball player, Jamal Branch. First of all, Jamal, just talk about this day and, and what uh, all the hard work and what it means for you to finally sign that letter of intent. Oh yeah, it's a blessing. It's truly a blessing. I mean, to be able to play my put my talents in the next level, which is at a and it's truly a blessing. Okay, let's talk a little bit about uh, the recruiting process because. You were, uh, gosh, how long has it been since you've been committed for <laughs> two or three years? Yeah, four years, actually. Oh, four, yeah, I know it's been yeah. a while. Uh, what, what went into the decision to, to get that uh, out of the way and, and really not go through the process like some of these other players do? Uh, just my relationship with the coaches and the players. I mean, and the facilities were top-notch and atmosphere was just unbelievable there. Okay, talk a little bit about uh, your, obviously you've had a time to build relationships with the coaching staff. Uh, what, what do you think of Coach Turgeon and uh, the group that he's, he's with the coaches? I mean, he, Coach Turgeon is awesome. I mean, he's done an unbelievable job uh, coaching these guys for the past three years, maybe, three or four years. I mean, and I think with, with me being there, that'll help a lot. Okay. What about some of the players uh, there on the team at AM? Uh, I know you've built some relationships there. Who, who are some of the guys that you know really well and that you're looking forward to play with in the future? Uh, I'm really good, uh, close with Dash, Harris, uh, BJ Holmes, David LeBeau, mainly all the guys. Chris Middleton, Ray Turner, Courtney Robertson. I mean, I talk to them all quite a bit. Okay, and also you've uh, coming in with your class is uh, Jordan Green. I know you played with Jordan this past summer. Talk about Jordan a little bit. Yes, um, he's a really good player. I mean, he spends a lot of time in the gym working on his game and getting ready for the next level. So I think me and him is we'll, we'll bring a lot next year to Texas A&M basketball. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about your skill set. What uh, what are really the strengths that you bring to the table for, uh, when you uh, put on the A&M uniform? Uh, my ability on defense. I mean, I'm a really good defensive player. Uh, when my offense game isn't working, I rely on my defense, and that helps me a lot. Okay. Now, I know that uh, you really, this last year, have worked on your uh, jump shot and your outside shot. Talk about your improvement in that area of your game. Oh, yeah, it's improving. I mean, I spend time constantly in the gym working on my game and working on my shot. And let's, let's talk about your work ethic. I know you're, uh, you, you've are you talked a lot about your hard work. Uh, you get up real early in the morning with your dad and you go work out. Just talk about how much effort and hard work and, and really work ethic that goes into being, uh, you know, playing basketball at this level. Yeah, it takes a lot. I mean, me and my dad would wake up at probably 3.45, be at light time at 4 and get a good two hour in two hour and a half workout in. And how do you think that that prepares you, having that work ethic, that prepares you for the college level? It prepares me mentally in college, because I know we have early practices and it's just getting me ready. Okay. Uh, now finally, uh, any message for the Aggie fans out there that are going to be watching this? What uh, what do you have to say to the Aggies? Gig them. You picked up a great player. <laughs> Good deal. Thanks a lot, Jamal. Appreciate it.